Hi children, this is your social ma'am Nadia. We are going to see your history part, that is our past three. Chapter one: How, when, and where. These are the contents we are going to see in this chapter. How important are dates? Which dates? How do we periodize? What is colonial? How do we know administration produces records? Surveys become important. What official records do not tell? How important are dates? Are you feel bored to remember the dates? Why it is important? Why we are having this much of dates in our history? To identify the changes of social and cultural, economic development, and to know about the people. So it's connecting past and the present events. There is no particular time period to specify the past. For example, we referred the battles with year. We cannot fix a single day to specify the events. When did people begin to drink tea or coffee? See this picture. Brahmanas offered sastras to the Britannia. This was developed by James Rennell in the year of 1782. Historians recorded battles and big events, rulers and their policies, in which year he was crowned, the year he married, the year he had a child, about war. The year he died, the year of next ruler succeeded to the throne, and also historians concentrated on other issues. Do you know what are the issues? How people earn their livelihood, what they produced and ate, how cities developed and markets came up. How kingdoms were formed and new ideas begins. How cultures and society changed. Which dates? Criteria for choosing a set of dates. The criteria was chosen based on set of events. For example, British historians written our Indian history based on theirs. Governor General. The first Governor General was Warren Hastings, and ended with the last Viceroy, Lord Mountbatten. Only link to these personalities and their activities, policies, and achievements. Nothing else to find about the lives of an ordinary people. Don't have enough space in their history. So we need a set of dates to know about our past. How do we periodize? See this picture, a Lipton tea. Prince Arthur had given advertisement for this tea. It helps us to understand the market. How do we periodize? James Mill, a Scottish economist and political philosopher, had written a book, A History of British India, in the year of 1817. In that book, he had classified our Indian history into Hindu, Muslims, and British. The reason for periodize to capture the events in the past. And also, he considered that we had lower civilization than Europe. Before British came to India, Hindu and Muslims were fought together. So, we don't have religious intolerance, caste taboos, superstitious practices. So, they introduced European manners, arts, and laws. Is it accepted today? So we need another history to know about us.
classification of indian history done by our indian historians ancient medieval and modern in your sixth standard you have studied about early societies then in your seventh standard you have studied about medieval period of india in your eighth standard you are going to learn modern history see in this classification also we have some problem modernity brings science reason democracy liberty and equality it was followed from the west but nothing was happened in british period so we refer this as colonial in this book we will read about the way the british came to our india for the purpose of conquer the country and establish their rule subjugating local nawabs and rajas collected revenue to meet all their expenses bought goods at lower price produced crops they needed to export then the changes So what is colonial colonialism is a practice of domination which involves the subjugation of one people to another when the subjugation of one country to another leads to the changes in political economic social and cultural changes referred as colonization so the british controlled in terms of social and economic to our india how do we know sources were referred to write an indian history administration produces records service become important official records see in this administration produces records they maintained records of every instructions plan policy decision agreement and investigation because of this faith the culture of memos notings and reports were produced identify what is this picture and also it was stored in separate rooms in the administrative institutions and it was carefully preserved village tahsildar's office the collectorate the commissioner's office provincial secretariats the law courts all had their record rooms let us move from one branch to another they used archives to store their documents carefully copied by calligraphist who was good in handwriting art printing was spread in the middle of 19th century so multiple copies were taken for these documents and preserved carefully surveys become important british did survey for the effective administration what are all the surveys they did village survey revenue survey used topography to find out soil quality flora fauna local histories and cropping patterns census operation was done to identify the number of people caste religion and occupations see this botanical survey was done in the year of 1770s see other surveys botanical surveys zoological archaeological anthropological and forest surveys this picture shows survey in bengal what official records do not tell from these records we can get more details but these are official it tells what they were interested in and what they wish to preserve it do not helps us to understand about the other people in the country so we need to search or refer diaries of people accounts of pilgrims and travelers 
who visited to our India, autobiographies of important personalities, popular booklets, after the printing, what were the problems discussed in the newspapers and issues, leaders and their ideas, poets and novelists, these were produced by literate people. Even though difficulty occurs to understand the lives of tribals and peasants, workers in the mines and poor on the street. When you read this R Pass 3, we will understand how this can be done. So, in your 8th standard, you are going to learn about the modern history. It carries the process of intellectual advancement. Learn yourself and improve your knowledge. Find out the list of Governor General who were ruled India. Find out the National Archives of India. Share the histories of your family elders. Get the details about the census operation of India. Check your listening skill. What are the three classifications of Indian history did by Indian historians? Who was the first Governor General of India? A history of British India was written by Das. What is colonialism? In the middle of the 19th century, Das was spread. Remember any five surveys did by the British. Thank you children.